Hi, I'm Jordan Dean. This is Questions on the Red Couch. What's the first thing you notice in a girl? <laughs> I got a girlfriend, but uh, the eyes, her eyes are beautiful. So I'll, I'll go with that. I'll, I'll be safe. What's the hardest decision you've ever had to make? I think um, probably dropping out of college was a pretty hard decision. Just, you know, that's kind of a big life alter. Um, but also like uh, moving to New York was a big decision. And that's, that's been, that's paid off so far. If you weren't an artist, what would you do for a living? Um, I would probably, I probably would have gone into law, I think, maybe, being a lawyer. I don't know. It's really weird. Will you still be making music in 10 years? Yeah, definitely. I think it's, uh, regardless of, you know, what, what that means to other people, for me, music is super important as an outlet for, for anything. And I, I think that's an outlet that, I don't take for granted because I know a lot of other people don't necessarily have that. So, yes, music I will be making in 10 years, absolutely. If you got canceled for something, what would it be? <laughs> Oof. Um, I don't know. Being too cool. Being too sick and fun to hang out with and stuff, I think, probably, if I had to guess. What movie character are you the most similar to? I'd probably say, like... Uh, The chef from Ratatouille or something, probably. What's your favorite quote? Mmm, jeez. I gotta dig deep. I'm a little too hung over to be digging deep, this, this deep in the memory bank. Um, <laughs> uh, shoot. Uh, I would say my favorite quote is, uh, do what you love, love what you do. I, sure, let's go with that. <laughs> If you could witness any event in history, what would it be and why? Oh man, that's so hard. I, I'm a, I, I like history a lot. I'm, I'm big into history. Um, hmm. I'm not gonna go with something tragic. I'm gonna go with something like nice, right? Because that, you know, that'd probably be better. Um, so much, probably like, like a New York jazz club in like the 20s or something. I think that would be fun, like a speakeasy type. I don't know if that's a specific event, but that's uh, it's like kind of a vibe that I would like to know about. And I would probably get a disease if I was there and die. So what's the best place to take a girl on a first date? Oof. Um, I think like uh, you can't beat like a mini golf or like, playing pool or something something that there's you, you have to be able to do something and also talk to each other like a movie is out you can't do a movie because you're not gonna be able to talk to each other but you can't just get a drink because then what, what if it's awkward you know you need like an activity i think to kind of break that break that ice but yeah let's go mini golf or pool who's an artist you'd like to work with I'd love to work with, uh, let's go Drizzy Drake. I'd let, let, give me on a song with Drake. <laughs> What's one piece of, you, of advice you'd give your younger self? Oh, that's a good question. I like that. Um, don't do things before you, you figure out what you're doing. I think like making sure there's no, there's no timetable. There's no rush. Um, it's important to, to kind of be a little more calculated in, in what you're doing and, and know what's going on inside before you just start doing a bunch of things. Um, yeah, that's pretty mysterious and odd, but that's, that's the advice I would give.